My name is Susie Can, and I'm a permaculturist. I'm going to talk about the permaculture principle of obtaining yield. Obtaining yield means that from the very beginning of implementing your design system, you should be trying to figure out what it is that humans yield from it, at the same time as creating spaces for nature. So in this garden, I've tried to maximize the yield possible in a small urban garden. There are so many different plants in the garden, some that can be incredibly abundant with very little care, and others that need a little more care to give their yield. Rhubarb, a great Irish favourite, really easy to grow, needs fertility thrown on it in the winter and will come back in the spring, giving a lovely early fruit dessert. Blueberries, fabulous berry, really, really good for you, lots of antioxidants, and likes acid soil. That's with the function of the pine cones all around it. Right beside the blueberries, I'm growing a little low growing pinus. You can chuck some of these needles in to keep this soil around the blueberries acidic. And pine itself has always been used for cleaning because it's antibacterial. We've got a herb spiral elsewhere in the garden, but up here we've got a quiet sit spot. And so the herbs function in this place their yield is their beauty and their smell. It's a lovely sensory place to sit. Perennial yield here is this little plum tree, which should fruit in a few years time. This hazel will yield nuts, but it'll take a few years too. The lovely coloured willow can be used for basketry or weaving fences. I've used some basket willow in this children's sit spot and play place. It's like a giant nest and it's a place to come and hide and watch birds.